Hello everybody, here we are, Robin the Sudoku guy with yet another tutorial and this one is a toughie. I've, uh, the biggest problem with this one is to spot the pattern. Now what I've done is put on the board to begin with a very simple one. It's called the XY wing. In this particular case, let me just show you, we have a rectangular shape and this particular cell here and we call the pivot. If it was the arms of a clock, it would be the center of the clock. If it was a bird, it would be this would be the body and that would be the wings. Okay? So it's an XY wing because this one we call a pivot, this one over here we can call it X and this one we could call it Y. Now this is the way it works. If this is a two, then this must be a nine. And if that is a 9, that cannot be a 9. It has to be a 7. If this is a 7, this has to be a 9. And if that is a 9, then this still cannot be a 9. It has to be a 7. So it doesn't matter this way or this way. That has to become a 7. And that's it in a nutshell. A very simple form. I'll be back in a minute. Well, here we are, back again. And this time I'm going to show you two more examples. But before doing that, let me tell you how much I appreciate all your comments and questions and emails that you send to me. You've got several choices. You can go to, uh, you can email me or send a message on Facebook. You can go to my website and go down below uh, and send me an email there that way. You can also make comments underneath the videos, and I look at them every day. This is an two examples of the XY wing. They're hard to spot. I found uh, you have to really watch to find these because you, what you're looking for is this. You're looking for three numbers in three cells. However, one or two of those three cells have to have a number that's the same. Now in this example here, I've got an 8 here and an 8 there and that is, is, is it's one of the things you've got to look for. And in the pivot there's no 8. Once you've found that situation and you've got, you've got to spend time sometimes to spot them, once you've found that situation then you use this logic. And it's amazing. If this pivot has a 2 then this becomes an 8. If this pivot as a 6, then this becomes an 8. So it doesn't matter what number is in the pivot, that is an 8, or that could be an 8, and if that is the case, this 8 here can be eliminated. Boop, bye, 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 and it becomes a 1. Okay? So that's the first example. Now, my next example is from a puzzle that I was doing, and I picked up uh, managed to find, uh, spot is another way of looking at it, three numbers in three cells where two of the cells had a similar number. And in this case, the pivot was a 4-5, uh, the X was a 1-4, so we have a 1-4 and 5, so this is a 1-4, and over here is a 1-5. The same principle works. Let's look at this, because this shows you, you once you see this, all kinds of ramifications can occur, and quite often just that alone will get you to the end of the puzzle. Isn't that neat? So, here we go. If this is a 4, then this becomes a 1. If this becomes a 1, then that 1 is eliminated, and this 1 is eliminated. Now, if this becomes a 5, then that 5 is eliminated because it's in the same block. So this also becomes a 1. And if because that's a 1, that verifies that this here should be eliminated. That 1 should go. So it doesn't matter whether it's a 4 or a 5. This will be a 1, and that will be a 1. And so you can get rid of these 1s. That's it in a nutshell. So that's it for today. Hope you have luck spotting an XY wing. Bye for now.